Assalamu alaikum and hi to everyone. Thank you for watching this video. So in we, in this video, we will discuss about the Bluetooth technology. The Bluetooth still under the wireless connection or wireless uh, network. So Bluetooth is a wireless LAN technology that designed to connect devices of different functions such as telephone, netbook, computers, your smartphone, your printers, uh, your earphone and a lot of things and Bluetooth LAN is an ad hoc network which means that the network is formed spontaneously there is no infrastructure needed in order to create the uh, LAN connection oh. uh, there is no infrastructure needed in order to create a network So let's go for the architecture. In Bluetooth LAN, we have two type of architecture. The first one we call as Piconet. So in this architecture, you can have up to eight station. And the station known as the primary station and second place station. Uh, in some way, we can call it as the master's master and slave so based on this figure this one is the master and this one is the slave so all the slave station synchronize their clock and hopping sequence with the master slave so the secondary station will synchronize their clock and hopping sequence because it uses the hopping sequence with the master with the primary station so the communication between the a primary station and the secondary station can be one to one or one to many. Even uh, in this architecture, the Piconet can have maximum of seven slave or seven secondary station, and additional eight slave can be or another station can be added in the park state, so non active part. So the second station in a park state is synchronized with the primary station but cannot take part in the communication until it is moved from the park side. It, it, it works like a reserve for that part. Okay. So you hopefully you should uh if this figure come out, you should be able to identify that this is the Bluetooth architecture under the P Connect. Okay, the next architecture we call as scatternet. Okay, uh, this scatternet is the combination of multiple piconet. So at least we need to have two piconet, and then when it combine together, it become a, a scatternet. So a secondary station in one of the piconet can become the primary station in another piconet so this one is piconet this one is another piconet but the secondary station from this piconet become the primary station for this piconet so the, in this part we call as the scatter net so this station can receive message from the uh, primary in the first piconet and then acting as the primary station okay refer to this uh, station so it will be acting as the primary station and deliver to the secondary station in its piconet a station can be a member of two piconet it can be a secondary station from piconet one and become the master station or primary station to another piconet two for example so this part we call as the scatternet. So in the Bluetooth, we also have the layers. So these are the layers inside the Bluetooth. At the top part, we have the application layers. And then at the bottom, we have the radio layers. Yeah. Application, 
and at this part audio control profile data transfer lcap layer baseband layer so this is the structure layers in the uh, bluetooth technology or bluetooth LAN. so the first uh the first the first layer sorry, uh okay first layer we we call the radio layers uh first layer from the bottom is the radio layers so the bluetooth device has a built-in short range radio transmitter so current data rate is one megabit per second with a 2.4 gigahertz bandwidth Okay, the next layer is the baseband layer. This one equivalent to the max sub layer in the LAN. And access method is using the TDFA. The communication is only between the primary and the secondary station. The next layer, L2CAP layer, equivalent to the LLC sub layer in the LAN Ethernet. And this layer is used for data exchange between uh one device to another device the segments segment the packet at the source and reassemble them at the destination uh second allow the device to create a type of logical address between themselves and can do multiplexing it use the tdma process and to define the quality of service so this figure show about the single secondary communication. Okay, let's say we have primary station and we have the secondary station. So primary station send to the secondary station at F0, frequency 0. Okay, the next part, secondary station send to the primary station. And then primary station send to the secondary station. Secondary station send to the primary station. So this is single secondary communication between the primary and the secondary station. So if a Piconet have only one uh, secondary station, so the time is divided into slot of uh, secondary station. So the primary will use the even number and the secondary, st uh, secondary station will use the odd numbers. So odd and even number here is one. So odd refer to primary, secondary use the even number. Sorry. Primary use the even number, secondary use the odd numbers. The way they communicate. We call it as a second secondary communication. Okay, the next communication is the multiple secondary communication. So this happen when in one we connect we have one primary station and more than one secondary station so we have multiple secondary station so in this process uh, the process of sending the data is divided based on how many secondary station that the picnet have and again the primary will use the even even number and the slave uh, the slave or the secondary We'll use the odd number slot. So let's say we have in one P connect we have two secondary station. So at zero slot, the primary station will send to the first uh, secondary station, and then the next part, the secondary station can reply to the primary station. So the next slot, the primary station send to the second secondary station and then the next slot second secondary station sent to the home so the next slot the primary station sent to the secondary one station so if we have three station let's say we have three station so this slot belong for the secondary number three okay, this is what we call as multiple secondary communication okay so that's all for the Bluetooth. Hopefully you can give get the ideas on how the Bluetooth work. The communication using the uh, hopping sequence.
that's why we have the oh uh, so if you continue on your degree level you may learn about the uh, frequency spread spreading hopping process okay and another format of the frame so that's all for the bluetooth land technology thank you and assalamualaikum